I'd like to welcome attendees to a Leadership Perspective webinar presented by the Governance Committee of the North American Spine Society. My name is Richard Skolaski and I'm chair of that committee. In this presentation, we'll be discussing physician burnout, how to identify those who are struggling and how to prevent and reduce burnout in today's dynamic healthcare setting, with a focus on the impact of the public health crisis brought on by COVID-19. During this webinar, I would ask attendees to be sure to use Slido to submit their questions for the presenters, as we'll have a Q&A session at the end. We are fortunate to have three engaging speakers join us in this webinar. Dr. Todd Albert and Mr. Eric Muehlbauer return to the topic that was first presented during the 2019 annual meeting. They are joined by Dr. Michael Klein. In our 2019 symposium, we presented physician burnout as a state of emotional, mental, and physical exhaustion caused by excessive or prolonged stress. Healthcare was already a stressful environment. The global pandemic unleashed by the novel coronavirus has only added to the exhaustion that healthcare providers are experiencing. Recognizing the warning signs and having tools to reduce physician burnout are critical at this time. In an international survey of more than 7,500 doctors, two thirds reported that their feelings of burnout had intensified during the pandemic. Among doctors in the United Kingdom and Spain, nearly half had personally treated a patient with COVID-19 and roughly one fifth reported contracting the virus themselves. Two major themes emerged for worsening burnout, treating patients who were likely to die and the increased risk of personal exposure to the novel coronavirus. The individual consequences of physician burnout are significant. Doctors report eating more, drinking more alcohol, and taking more prescription stimulants and medications. Among doctors in the United States, 46% reported greater feelings of loneliness. And while burnout has negative consequences for the individual, there are also considerable risks to patient care. Burned out providers are more likely to report having made a significant medication error and are more likely to report a major medical error in the past three months. In addition, these same physicians report lower quality interaction with their patients. Upon completion of this webinar, attendees should gain strategies to understand the current stresses brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, to identify institutional barriers to getting help, learn ways that organizations can help to alleviate physician burnout, gain knowledge of the risk factors and warning signs, and discover strategies to address this growing issue. Our first speaker is Dr. Todd Albert. Dr. Albert is the Surgeon in Chief Emeritus at the Hospital for Special Surgery. He is also a professor in the Department of Orthopedics at Weill Cornell Medical School. He has served on boards of several scholarly journals and is past president of the Cervical Spine Research Society and the Scoliosis Research Society. Dr. Albert has published over 400 scientific articles, authored over 80 book chapters, and has presented his research both nationally and internationally. Throughout his career, he has been dedicated to teaching and mentoring. Thank you so much. It's uh, my great honor to be uh, affiliated with this very important webinar uh, on a critical topic during this time, uh, made only more important uh, by what's going on in our country and uh, with the pandemic over the last year. So I'm gonna talk about the current institutional approaches to physician burnout. Um, these are my uh, disclosures and none are particularly important other than my uh, prior leadership roles and continued leadership at Hospital for Special Surgery uh, and uh, my part I played in leadership of uh, organizations. Um, I'd like to start first by uh, reminding us as physicians and caregivers all the great things that have occurred that we've been a part of through history and what we've done for our patients. So we should not take this as we are a problem, we have a problem. We are blessed to be able to do what we do and should feel so proud of the contributions we make. And I've been thinking about the problem of burnout for some time 
Um, this is a piece I wrote about four years ago uh, in Kevin MD about this particular topic. And I would encourage you to take a look at that. And while I know the other speakers are gonna give an overview of burnout, I wanted to just through my introduction, talk about what it is and some of the th reasons it's a problem before we get to the main issue of what the institutional approaches are to the problem. And it's been defined as a state of emotional, mental, and physical exhaustion caused by excessive or prolonged stress by Freudenberger, but it's just that problem of, of the, the symptom, I should say, of a chronic process of energy expenditure. And the signs, the elements are emotional exhaustion, depersonalization, and a perceived lack of personal accomplishment. Um, and when we see a burnt out uh, physician or person, they just go through the motion, they lose empathy, they're sleepless, they have that chronic fight or flight response. And most importantly, perhaps, they don't treat loved ones with the love and personal touch they deserve. It's not new. If we look back in history and we look at these two very well-known Civil War nurses, Whitman and uh, Walt Whitman and Louisa May Alcott, you can see from the quotes that they were really suffering from the horrors they saw during that war, that conflict in American history. And a lot of it's occurred because of our changing healthcare paradigm. Uh, physicians have less autonomy. We have more paperwork, bureaucratic tasks. We have a focus on cost and productivity. Our patients are sicker. And all the while, there's less potential respect for our profession than historically there's been. And there's an added stress even in academic environment uh, due to some of our decreases in research funding. And now with the COVID-19 pandemic, physicians are under more pressure than perhaps ever before. And so it leads to a, a combination of asymmetrical rewards, a loss of autonomy, and this concept of cognitive scarcity, where there is the need to continuously make consequential decisions that create stress for physicians without any additional time buffers. And it's really even been popularized in the media, this concept in TV shows about doctors, et cetera. And I'll just show you an example of just one, which I think really exemplifies the potential burnt out position. What about the time I was in the Could have waited another month for you. Where are you going? Your shift's not over. Hey! Remember what you told me? The second you start blaming yourself for people's deaths, there's no coming back. Yeah. You're right. And this concept and this problem has both personal and professional consequences. Of course, there's the professional consequences which we've all known about and defined with turnover and cost. But many of us that will listen and be on this webinar have seen uh, physicians uh, have substance abuse, problems with depression and even suicide. And we had famously at our institution a few years ago, one of our fantastic trauma surgeons uh, commit suicide. Uh, and, and so this is problem is real and, and needs to be dealt with. And the numbers are staggering when we think about the numbers of doctors who report being burnt out, um, those who are moderately or severely stressed, and those who wouldn't recommend this tremendous profession as a career for their children. And there have been many uh, studies about the prevalence, but the most important thing 